What's up everybody, it's Stas here, and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you all three stocks that I'm looking to swing trade right now in the month of October, heading into the month of November in 2019. And when you're swing trading in the stock market, the key is to buy low and to sell high if you're looking to buy actual shares. If you're looking to short a stock, maybe swing trade put options, that's a completely different philosophy. We're strictly talking about buying and holding shares here which again I'm personally looking to buy at a dip and then really sell as the stock continues the uptrend and breaks out and all I ask from you guys is if you enjoy the video feel free to go down below and hit that like button and consider subscribing if you do want to see further content about the stock market both investing and trading and feel free to join our free discord group chat and our free Facebook group both of those are linked down below so as you can tell the first stock that I'm looking to swing trade here is ticker symbol T also known as AT&T and a quick disclaimer guys don't just buy these based off of my opinion you have to do your own research understand the risk involved with these stocks and understand whether or not it fits your personal criteria and your philosophy when it comes to trading in the stock market and also all of these companies that I'm going to be talking about in this video are reporting earnings and that's also a big thing to keep an eye out for me personally I don't like buying stocks before earnings I like getting in and out before earnings and buying after right and that's kind of what I'm looking to do with a lot of these stocks but just keep that in mind because earnings guidance the numbers they actually report in terms of their earnings report these companies that is right this can heavily fluctuate whether the stock it's going to go up or whether or not it's going to go down right it fluctuates the stock. So AT&T here, they report earnings on the 28th of this month. So that's in 10 days. So we do have time to hop in and out here of AT&T before these earnings, especially with what I'm seeing here on these technicals. And let me break it down for you guys, right? I said a couple of minutes ago, the key when swing trading is buying low and selling high after the stock continues the breakout or as it's breaking out out right and right now we're seeing AT&T is doing just that just that right and that is it's breaking out you can see here $38 is a clear resistance roughly 3890 up to around 38 bucks here on AT&T right we topped out here once twice three times four times five times we were struggling there this morning but now that we're breaking out of that resistance that's extremely bullish and I'm thinking that AT&T is now going Going to push to fill the gap up here to 39.50 to around 40 bucks. And how did I get that 49.50, 40 bucks level? Well, if we zoom out a bit here, let's go to the three-year, one-week chart. You guys can see actually that we've been rejected three separate times at around that 39.50-ish level back in 2017, heading into the year of 2018. So that makes this level a very strong resistance. So all in all, at this point point guys AT&T to put it in brief terms it's breaking above $38 which is very very bullish and now it's looking to fill the gap up to $39.50 and another important thing to keep in mind when swing trading is how much risk is involved and how much reward is involved with particular trades well in this one from $38 up to the resistance where we'd ideally sell where we would ideally sell right that's about a 3% profit margin and where I would probably cut losses on AT&T is if it were to break below 38 bucks so from where it is right now down to about 38 bucks that's around a 0.5 to a 0.6 risk in terms of how much you can lose on your position so about a 0.5 0.6% risk versus a 3 to 4% reward that is pretty good in my personal opinion so AT&T is the first First one that I'm watching ideally I'd sell up here if we even break above that that would be probably a sign to hold it even up to this to these high levels at about 40 bucks which would at this point would offer even more margin right from down here where we are now up to 40 41 bucks that's going to be around six percent so just keep an eye on these guys at and is looking very very good just keep an eye on these levels and the technicals that I'm talking about here the second step 
stock is going to be ABV, ticker symbol ABBV, and this is actually looking very similar to ATNT. We're breaking above a resistance and we're entering into a new channel where from where we are now at about 76, 77 bucks up to the resistance of this channel, that's about a 6.25% profit margin. And mind you, just like AT&T, AbbVie is reporting earnings here in the next couple of days. I think they're on the 1st of November, so they actually have a bit more time um, than AT&T. So the idea here, the goal here would be to maybe swing trade this, get out before earnings, see what earnings does, numbers, guidance, all of that good stuff, then maybe enter back in if the earnings is good, are good, right? If their earnings are good, if the guidance is good, and if the stock is positively reacting to those earnings, which is very important, right? But as of now, we're breaking a critical level, right? This is a level where we kind of triple bottomed here a couple of months ago, back in April to May into June of 2019. And once we broke that triple bottom, that made this level a strong resistance, right? We tried to rally back up a couple months ago, back in July. We ended up failing, ran all the way down to about 62 bucks. We tried to pop up and test that same 76 buck level on the 1st of October, failed again. And now we tested it yet again yesterday, heading into today, right? And now we're getting the breakout, which just like AT&T is extremely bullish here on AbbVie. So, risk reward about 6% we saw that to the upside to the downside here about 0.7 to around 1% right and typically i'm looking to cut losses whenever my swing trades break critical resistances and honestly whenever they get below um, really 1.5% in the red or lower because that's where I'm typically keeping my stop loss when I am swing trading and when I'm up on a position I'm typically keeping a trailing stop loss to protect those profits so let's say if I'm up 5-6% I don't have a trailing stop loss I'd probably get wiped out if this were to dump but if I had a trailing stop loss I would was up five six percent and let's say the trailing stop loss was set at like half a percent or something then this falls half a percent obviously it would sell my position and I would lock in those profits so that's really just a mechanism of protecting your profits and again that's what I would do if I was in at this point or not really in at this point if I was seeing a good amount of profits at this point right that's what I would do so Abvi, that's what I'm looking at it's in a new channel looking very very good right now very very swing tradable in my opinion. And the last one, which is another one that I've been talking about a lot on the channel, is Procter & Gamble, ticker symbol PG. And if we're just looking at Procter & Gamble here on the four-hour chart, it's clear that it's on an uptrend, right? And it's clear also that we broke that main support level, which was the 180 SMA that was holding this uptrend intact. So ever since we've fallen beneath that, you know, Procter & Gamble has been a bit bearish. We're seeing the moving averages acting as resistances rather than support levels, right? We're seeing a bearish cross here, the 50 SMA crossing below the 180 SMA, and we really haven't seen any upside push here until now, right? Now we're starting to see some support at around 116, 117, and we're starting to see a bit of a breakout here to the upside. You can maybe say this is a double bottom, triple bottom, bottom um, if you're counting this one twice and then three times today now that we're breaking up you know I guess that that could be a triple bottom here but overall guys the trend is looking like it's slowly starting to to push up. Obviously, we have earnings here, and, and really, actually, I think this is the, the soonest out of the three. Yeah, it's on the 22nd of October, so this can heavily fluctuate the stock up or down. So for me, on, on PG at this point, I'm probably going to wait until after earnings, since earnings will be, I'm, I'm guessing, on Tuesday, which is the 22nd. So I'm going to wait until after that, see what they report, see how guidance is, EPS, revenue, all of that good stuff. But either way, I think this this one's going to offer some good margin, right? From let's say 118, if we entered hypothetically here, up to around 125, that's about a 5-6% margin of profit. And I would definitely break or uh, cut losses if this were to break 116, because this is just a critical level of support, guys, right? It was an old resistance. It was a support back in August as well. You know, it's just a very, very strong key level. 
hole. And uh, if we were to break there, that's where I'd cut. And from where we are now, down to about 116, that's about a 0.6, 0.7 um, uh, potential downside here in terms of the risk. So the reward heavily outweighs the risk right now in Procter & Gamble. And if we zoom out a bit, let's say to the three-year, one-week chart, what I noticed is maybe let's go to the one-year, one-day better. Yep, this is better. What I noticed is if I draw this little uptrend here, guys, you can see that this is a bounce point for Procter & Gamble on, on this uh, one-year, one-day chart. So that is interesting. If you guys do look at these long, long-term charts, well, not extremely long, but longer than the usual time frames that I talk about on this channel, um, this is definitely uh, uh, pretty interesting in my opinion, right? We could end up holding this and popping, you know, if these earnings are good especially. So overall, guys, those are three stocks that I'm looking to swing trade right now in October, heading into, into November. And again, don't just buy these. Don't just swing trade these based off of my opinion. You have to understand that they're reporting earnings. You have to understand these earnings and these companies for yourself before swing trading them. Because let's be honest, the whole idea is to become a self-sufficient trader and investor in the stock market. You don't want to have to go to the internet to really see other people's opinions before forming your own. You have to have the tools to form your own first and then sure, go on YouTube, go on the internet, see what other people are thinking and then that's how you can collaborate and then maybe build on your own skill set with other people's skills that you get from really just looking at what they're doing and kind of adapting what they're doing in a way, right? So that's super, super important. And uh, other than that, that's pretty much it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to go down below, hit that like button, consider subscribing if you do want to see further content about the stock market, investing, trading, and personal finance. And also, don't forget to join our Strive Smart Discord group chat and our Strive Smart Facebook group. All of those are linked down below as well as my Instagram. So I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Have a great weekend. Peace out.